I'm here today at uh, NGS Survey Station Sunrise on North Palisades Drive, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, about 3, 317 North Palisades. The visibility here is 5 to 10 miles as it has been uh, most of the week. This is the eighth day that I have uh, come to this survey station attempting to see a distance of 45 miles. Uh, that, that effort has not paid off yet but I'm sure that it will when, uh, when the time is right, I will be able to, to see a 50 mile distance, to see the, the two mountains, Oswald Dome and uh, Big Frog Mountains clearly in the distance, get clear shots on the, on the horizon that will have uh, believable results. So I'm in the process of doing that, uh, have to wait uh, a little bit longer on that, on that score. So I want to turn my attention to the solar distance experiment. That's the second experiment I'm going to run. Um, again, it will take uh, it will take five videos to to summarize that that experiment. This is the the first of five in which I will uh, explain what the the solar distance experiment calculation will be. Uh, video number two is a is a uh, tutorial on taking an observation on the sun. Video number three I hope to have in, in four weeks time. I hope to, uh, to produce a simple set of calculations that could be understood by most people who would have a high school or a college level uh, mathematics background. I believe that's important for things to be believable. Uh, I will explain those results in the third video and in the uh, fourth and the fifth video we will take the data and uh, calculate the distance to the Sun. So the date for the solar distance experiment will be October 24th, 2015, weather permitting. From this station here on, on Signal Mountain, I'm going to shoot towards the Sun at 1 p.m and prior to that, and I will concurrently be shooting on the sun from uh, a state up north between Kentucky and uh, Michigan. I haven't figured out what uh, logistics are gonna permit me to do yet, but I'll be working on that in the, in the next several weeks. And I'm going to attempt to get uh, someone in the, uh, the west coast area to also at the same time concurrently with us uh, shoot in on the sun at that point in time. That will be three independent stations that, that, will, that will have known, uh, known survey latitude and longitude. We'll take three distances on the sun. The, the, the line calculated from this station and the station up in the, the north er, northern area will, will define a plane in three-dimensional space. And the third uh, shot coming in from the west coast will define uh, the point at which a line from that station penetrates through the plane. So that's the very simple uh, premise of this test that we can, uh, without the government, uh, with, with their own information and the own our own equipment that's available to us, be able to uh, very inexpensively make that dis determination. And I'm happy to do the calculation and put those results out uh, for you. Uh, for those of you who are interested in this subject, for anyone who uh, would, would believe in the, the flat earth concept, or for anyone who doesn't believe in the, the, the NASA going to the moon, uh, um, you, can, you can take a, a, another look at at those beliefs based on what the results of this this experiment will tell you. So if, if we calculate the Sun's distance as 93 million miles uh, away from from this station right here then we'll we'll know uh, pretty much that uh, things are as as we are being told and if we calculate another number in the uh, you know the very near uh, short distance to the Sun we'll know that uh, things are not as we're being told. So I'm putting forth the, the date of October 24th, 2015 at 1 p.m. 
that will be the solar distance experiment date, weather permitting. Uh, we'll delay by one day if, if one of the stations is, is clouded in or unable to, to get the, uh, the results that we need. Um, but I'm hoping that, that I'm forecasting a, a date that will, that will be good out in the future uh, to give us plenty of time to uh, organize and, and run independently any, any observations that anybody wants to do. If you want to do uh, uh, shadows and that type of a calculation, I will have available uh, on the same day concurrently with the, the angles that I'm turning from these two stations. I will have a uh, stick in the ground and I will give you uh, uh, direction and length of shadows concurrently with these with these dimensions so everyone's invited to participate on that date and and acquire their own information for themselves you can volunteer uh, what that is or keep it to yourself um, you know that, that that would be up to you but as for myself I will I will post the information from this experiment uh, after October 24th I'm looking for six volunteers who would like to if you have the equipment and the ability to to turn angles and the knowledge I, and, and if you would be interested on that date in turning angles I would like to have two volunteers from the West Coast to shoot out the Sun at that appointed time two in Canada uh, as far up north as possible to, to shoot in one from the East Coast and one from Chile or Argentina so if somebody would uh, turn in, uh, produce those angles, uh, I would appreciate that. Hopefully not a government person, but someone who's a uh, citizen uh, would like to, would, would like to uh, invite people to do that, and, and I hope that there will be some, some volunteers along that line. Just let me know which survey station that you're going to shoot from at the head of time by, by a comment, you know, if you care to do that, I would appreciate it. So, in summing up, uh, the premise of this experiment is that two lines define a plane, a third line def defines a line that will penetrate that plane in only one, one location, and that that location will define the distance from the sun. We're not doing any time uh, effects, and we're, we're not including time in this experiment. We're only co co including three-dimensional geometry at time equals October 4th, 2015 at 1 p.m. So we'll take all of the movement uh, discussion out of it and we'll go at a single point in time. We'll take the results. Personally, I would like to calculate uh, a number of 93 million miles because I was around in 1969. I remember the space program. I remember watching all of the, the videos and all of that and uh, everyone being excited about it. Um, and I don't want that to go away. At the same time, I believe the own information that I that I acquire uh, through my own experimentation. So, uh, if you are a a, uh, a flat Earth person and you believe that the sun is uh, much closer than that, then this is an opportunity for us to to make that determination. Uh, so I will I will uh, block comments on on this video but I will accept all comments on the the number three video where I where I put the calculations out there and if you find a, a an error in the calculations please be sure to comment on it and I will get it uh, fixed before the test date so that's that's the what I'm committed to doing won't hold anything back uh, and I will uh, try to get the information out so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video I hope that you uh, are are uh, willing and able to participate in some way in, uh, in acquiring data on that date that will uh, satisfy your own curiosity con concerning this issue. I appreciate your watching this video.